Hello guys, welcome back to another Last Day on Earth tutorial. Before watching this, make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notifications on if you enjoy my videos. This took me a lot to make, now moving on. Today I will show you how you can beat the bunker hard mode, second and third floor without wasting too many guns. This is the cheapest method, although I will mention what to correctly do and what not to in the walkthrough. Now let me tell you some quick tips before going to the bunker. Before doing this, make sure you have enough resources to do this. It will take you approximately to 10-12 machetes, 2-3 to three SWAT armor and 3 tactical sets. The enemies do a lot of damage. Food is going to be an insane cost and you will need to be aware and use as many tricks as you can as I show in this video. These floors aren't that easy so you need to be prepared. I didn't die yet there so surviving isn't really hard. You just need to be paying attention a lot. Okay, I like to start from the second floor, but you can start anywhere. You will need one skull crusher for the roaming zombies. They're brutal if you don't bring skull crushers. Two to four saw blades should be enough for 14 frenzy giants, which is two floors by the way. So 14 giants would be for two and third floors. Some frenzy giants cannot be sneaked, so you'll be always using the saw blades to get more damage. And the saw blades for exploders. And note guys, the elevator trick on the hard mode does not work. If there is an opportunity, never miss a special attack with the saw blade mace on any zombie. Always use the sneak attacks to get more damage into the enemy. Now if you're killing exploders, you can use few tricks. The wall trick. Chop the exploder with machetes until he reaches 52 HP. Once he reaches it, wait for his next attack. Or just use a bow. Or even a Glock or just chop the last hit with the machete. Be ready though, if you get caught by his explosion, you're pretty much dead. So beware of that. When he explodes, do not instantly go loot him. Parasites will spawn on you when you make him explode. Run away from the exploder once he explodes and kill the parasites with ranged weapons like the Boro Glock. Glock works the best because it does 20 damage exactly to a parasite, which means two shots for one death. Moving on to Frenzy Giants, they're pretty easy. Just need to find a spot where you can kill them. On third floor, you can circle them around the turret pillar. After the turret, you can use the water circle where the bridges cross. And lastly, you can corner them, which isn't really safe, but you can try. But you might die. Killing the frenzy giants in the second floor, you can use the toilet room and circle with the wall until he dies. Same way, same tactic. You can use machetes to kill frenzy giants with the wall trick, although it's a really big risk for you guys and you can waste up more health items than you would expect. I didn't kill them with the machete because this was recorded on a PC and it lags a lot so if I would make a video on my phone then it would be really different. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you guys for watching and now enjoy the gameplay. See you guys in the next video.